preem. Uh, it'd be just like a preem and a criterium, actually. They'll have a sign up there, a banner across the road. Here we have two riders. And it's Patelero and Favero. And, uh... This would be two, for a prize, two, two, or...? Yeah, it's just a, a cash award. Usually 500,000 lira, which would be about $250 at that time. To, it could be 250,000 lira, or there's actually a few of them there that were a million lira. So it was, now, it looks like these two riders had gotten away from the group. Is but uh, they were just caught, and Gisigur countered here. This is Gisigur again. And Gisigur... It's a good break, break here. Uh, we're getting fairly near the finish. And Gisiger is the time trial. Or, well, actually, this is not near the, this is just before, uh, uh, this hard climb up through the, the, uh, tunnels. And we have, uh, Benotti, Bianchi rider. Now, is Gisiger going to He's very strong. Is Gisiger, uh, Gisiger, Gisiger is right here. We have, uh, let's see, Charuti. Ruti, Venati, and see if anybody else comes up to join join them here. Venati, Charuti, on the flats. David Akem, English writer, writing for Moser. Gissiger still. So Gissiger looks like he's going to get in with the break. That's right. Yeah, we'll see how if it can last though. That's a deal. Yeah, looks like uh, Akem's just protecting himself. See, he's not getting right in to do some work. Mm -hmm. and, well, uh, isn't he on the same team as the uh, as Moser, right. right? The race leader. So what? Right. He's, when, exactly, what would he be doing in the break then? Uh, just staying in an, his his orders throughout the tour are to save his energy specifically for Moser and uh, protect his energy. Even in the time trial, the first time trial, he was asked uh, to just soft pedal through it, finish it within the time limit, save his energy, so he actually got two rest days instead of one. There's Van Imp, and we have the Blamek up there in the front, I don't know, Zutan. this is uh, the feeding they're showing here, that was about 120 kilometers into the stage. This is a 221 kilometer stage, we had a hard climb, just uh, be like some 10 kilometers for the finish, that was expected to be a platform for the final sprints. Do, uh, are there ever tactical maneuver, maneuvers made in a feeding area like this? If there are, <laughs> those poor souls, <laughs> no, uh, never never that I saw. Next uh, five kilometers and then everybody slow down and eat their food. <laughs> They'll all get the bags and go, so go crazy. What happens is the riders uh, go through first, yeah. get their food and think that... Well, we have a uh, problem here. It uh, appears it's a protest. With the riders, there was a bad fall of some 20, 25 riders at the end of a sharp turn after a tunnel. And some of the riders are protesting now that uh, the corner wasn't marked. We just passed the one kilometer and the riders are just soft pedaling through here. So they decided not to sprint on this stage, is a Yeah, some riders organized a protest and... Uh, Moser was leading down the, down the descent, and Moser can descend incredibly well, and the descent, the turn was... Le classifiche sono state tenute, valide, tutto cose, sono state fatte le cose sbagliate, perché a quel punto lì si doveva annullare la tappa e, non tener, e partire con la classifica del giorno prima. C'è stata gente che ha... Che, non so, Froyer ha vinto la maglia ciclamino per quella tappa lì, e, e non era giusto che la vincesse perché lui... E la manifestazione che avevamo inteso di fare è andata fino alla fine e credo che noi avevamo le nostre buone ragioni per farlo. Credo che non sarebbe stata una cattiva azione per quello che riguarda i corridori, per la gente, lo so che la gente che è lì a vedere i corridori.